out of the box the search that comes with WordPress isn't that good in my opinion and something I use on a lot of client sites is relevancy I can't say this word relevancy 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 <laughs> it's a plugin that extends the search of WordPress and it makes it a lot more efficient and helps you to target your searches a lot better so in this video I'm going to take you through installing relevancy configuring it and showing it how it improves search so let's jump over to the back end of my site so plugins add new plugin it's the usual thing and we're looking for relevancy we've included a link to the plugin in my notes for this video so it's already installed so under settings we have relevancy so one of the key things of this plugin is it that it creates an index of your content so that makes the search faster and it also allows us to target where people are allowed to search so for example i haven't got woocommerce installed on this but i use relevancy on a client site that they only wanted to allow search for products so we're able to click off posts and pages uh, let's just say member press products is the only thing you want to search by and we create an index of just that content type to allow us to control what people can search for let's do post some pages and then what we do is we build an index so the index just speeds up the search process so this is going to go off and index all my blog posts it will take a little bit of time the first time we do it but as subsequent content is added it's much quicker to do When you add new content and publish it it also automatically rebuilds the index for you so there's my index built and we've got 945 bits of content indexed that makes it easier for us to search so we can search across the attachments i think that might be a pro feature yeah it's a premium feature this is just a free version so you could search across images and the descriptions and titles of images if you wanted to then we've got our searching features you can set the operator to be and or all so if you want to be more specific so if you said check out and cart as your search phrases it would be an and or you can have it in all I, I tend to go with all so it's more flexible we have a way to match the keywords you can have partial words so ham would return results for hamster for example or you can go for whole words if you want to be more specific I like partial words it has a weighting system so results with a higher weight score will appear nearer the top of the search results so if the keywords are in the title it gets five points if it's in the content it gets one point if it's in a tag or a category it gets less points you get the idea you can control the order of the output uh, that's really useful we can exclude certain categories if we wanted to or we could exclude certain posts if we wanted to hide them from the search results another really powerful feature is logging we can keep a log of the user queries this is really useful for the development of your site if people are searching for a particular term a lot it probably means it's difficult to find so then you can work on your user interface and you can highlight that so if somebody's searching for your contact page it's obviously not clear enough on your menus and you need to highlight that so people can get in contact with you so we can control the excerpts that come out in the search results um, I've not really worked on this at all but you could then set how many words are displayed in your search results you can remove the tags that kind of thing synonyms this is quite useful if you're seeing people type in 
so I focus on WooCommerce, so perhaps the type in cart instead of cart. So you can create these kind of typos and synonyms like that. So if somebody types in cart, it'll return the search results for the real spelling of cart. Let me give you a demo of that. So I've searched for the wrong spelling of cart and it's brought back all my posts related to cart spelt correctly. We can add some stop words, so they're just ignored from the search. So all those fluffy words that don't really hit help the search at all. And we've got some redirects, so the search results can be redirected some, somewhere else. And we've got some debugging. So incredibly powerful plugin. Uh, let me give you some examples of where I've used it. Uh, one client had a central store for all that content and we were searching from remote sites. So we used relevant relevancy and its REST API extension. That was really useful. Um, used it on one site for the, let me go back to the indexing for the waiting. So they wanted just searching, sorry. So they wanted to highlight different content and boosted up the search results based upon taxonomy terms. So that was really useful. So we'll give more weight to categories in that case. Um, we can have used the extension for relevancy for uh, load more type setting. So you could have 10 search results and have a load more and it will get search results. So it's incredibly powerful. It's much better than the out of the box WooCommerce search. I recommend you give it a try.